Right then, welcome to Bikers Travelog on Revelator. So, uh, I've uh, headed off into the, the wilds of West Berkshire, just uh, just uh, Newbury area, um, just north of Newbury, northeast of Newbury, uh, into the hills, into the forest. Um, actually, there's lots of great trails here, lots of byways uh, through here to, to ride, and a lot of it is, you know, like this as well. So, you know, it's hard, compacted, yeah, it's a little bit uh, loose stone, but overall it's actually really good so you know i quite like it um i haven't been here in a while it's been about it's got to be over a year year and a half possibly and um yeah last time i came here it was really wet it'd been raining a lot we had a lot of a wet spell and um you know it's all muddy especially on the little side trails but the actual main trails weren't too bad yeah there was lots of standing water and big puddles to ride through which is really good fun but you know nothing that any old bike couldn't do um, which I'm always a great believer in, you know, any bike should be able to go to anywhere really. Anyway, so enough of me rambling on about this. This is one of these places that I like. Now, the reason why this is a biker's travelogue is because I love the forest, uh, as you know, but I also love these fire breaks and also these channels cut through for power lines. Why? I'll tell you why. Okay, because there's... Um, when you're running through the forest, as I sometimes say on my videos, you know, you can get kind of closed in, claustrophobic a little bit. You know, um, you've really got to pay attention to where you are and your situational awareness. And, you know, know that if you take a go off one way on a trail, you, you know, to get back to where you need to come, you need to kind of fly, um, ride a box section. And uh, sometimes you need to just follow the trail to the, the natural end and then double back. But you always need to know exactly where you are. Digital mapping GPS helps, but you know, you gotta think, well, if that fails, what's gonna happen anyway? So you can get, can get a little bit disorientating in the forest sometimes, as people will always tell you. Um, especially, you know, you hear of people, you know, going off in the forest and they're, they're lost and they, they walk around in one big circle and they end up where they started because, you know, they're dominant on one right foot or left foot and their stride pattern is different. Anyway, so it's very similar to, you know, on bikes as well you can ride through the forest and you can get totally disorientated and where you are so actually coming out into a fire break so it actually opens up gives you a bit of breathing space you know you can look at the sky if you can see where the sun is the time of day yeah i know it's all a bit poncy bear grills and all that sort of stuff but you know you can kind of work out where where north is one of the things that i sometimes feel about these bikes because you're going quite far and you, you know going off long trails that it would really help if they had a compass on board you know uh, like a digital compass or even just an analog one and that will kind of help you to orientate especially if your your gps fails or stuff like that um, but you know without that then you know um you just have to use your common sense really but it's so, like you know you get out here then all of a sudden you know it's um you got a bit of breathing space you can see the sky, you know, it's, um, you know, it's good, good for you just to get off the bike and um, <clears throat> just relax a little bit. That's what I tend to do anyway, you know, when I'm out on the trails, you know, just always take a break halfway around, uh, sometimes in the trees, sometimes out on the trails, try and find a clear spot and just, um, yeah, enjoy a little bit. But uh, I think they always look good as well. And you go watch some of the other videos, you'll see some, you know, fire breaks that they've cut through the trees and they're really tall pine trees. And it almost looks cathedral-like, almost looks like a, um, like a, a Greek, I don't know, Greek or Roman, you know, structure as it were. Um, so, I mean, it's hard to describe until you actually see it. But, you know, if you've ever seen them, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. So this is uh, the Bikers Travelog, uh, headed out uh, just, uh, this is an area called Bucklebury, uh, Bucklebury Common area, so just northeast side of Newbury, Berkshire in uh, Reading. Lots of byways around here, lots of trails, so if you have uh, you know get on an ordnance survey map and they come and ride them. And the great thing about them is that predominantly they are, they are good trails. So yeah, there are some narrow trails as well. <clears throat> and they're, but they're all relatively hard and compact, which is good, so they're perfectly rideable. <clears throat> and I would say pretty much all year round as well. So if you're ever in the area, come and have a look. Right, catch you on the next Bikers Travelogue, whenever that is. Cheers now.